uh, ask about, well, elephants? Pardon me while I wax eloquent, but once many years ago, huge herds of fragrant elephants roamed freely in this particular valley. Oh yeah, in the good old days, peanut farming would have made you a billionaire. Once long ago, I had a successful career, and I was also an elephant herder. Did I? You kidding? Everyone used to have a pet elephant. I feel like I'm oh, going yeah. crazy. I remember mine. I married her. Yeah. She was great for vacuuming up peanuts from your rugs. Not only that, but elephants are very clean and modest as well. They all just went bathing with their trunks, don't you know? <laughs> yeah, nice thing about elephants. Very easy to housebreak, you know? They hardly ever made mistakes. Huh, unless they got excited, okay? Unfortunately, elephants get excited easily. A lot of houses got broken that way. This really brings back I feel like it's sad memories. Two actor impressions Please, divided between three people. Like last year's famine <laughs> yeah they really <laughs> they really uh, improvised a bit <laughs> I could remember if we had already heard that or not if we did I completely forgot um, Wow you've never seen so many locks and bars on a door you can't find any way to open it wait oh really it is very dangerous in Mardavia at night we always keep things locked up when it gets dark I will let you out for now. If you wish to return later this evening, just knock on the door. If you do not make it back by the closing of the inn, may you rest in peace. When does the inn close? All right. It's not, oh, it's not completely night yet. Oh god. It probably is very close. <laughs> I saw the sky go dark from our window and I thought surely it was nighttime, but then yeah, we did just look at the clock and it wasn't the sun wasn't down all the way. Ah, days feel long here. I feel like we could totally <laughs> adventure. Wait, you'll die? No. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Look, night nighttime adventure. Get more experience points, right? You get double EXP. We have like less than half of our health. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> not a good start. Yeah. Surely. Okay, let's let me check our map. This is tense music. <laughs> uh, we were exploring. We got poisoned. Let's see. We could go a little bit northeast. It's getting dark. You'll die outside at night in the city? Outside at night in the first one. They have jack o' lanterns when it's nighttime. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that was worth it. The faces on the jack o' lanterns glow like malevolent demons. You just have to wait till daytime for it to open again. To within their grasp. Yeah. I want one. You've never been very good at making pumpkin pie. Let me in. Let me in. Oh. You knock on the gate. There is very little sound. The gate seems to be very solid. And you get no response. Volume turning up was the response. <laughs> open you gate. You can't open the gates. They're barred on the other side. I'm climb. I don't have any climbing skill. <laughs> All right, let's see what um, Mordavian nightlife is like. 
We could go visit our, our friend at the gate. Open spell? Let's try the open spell. Open spell. The town gates are protected against magic. Your spell has no effect. Cool. I bet, yeah, I I just got here yesterday, but I probably know a lot of things compared to the people who've lived here their whole lives. So, I ain't even worried. But we're fine. Listen to that peaceful. You feel a chill go through you as you enter this part of the forest, as if a cold wind suddenly sprang up from nowhere. That's nice. What is that? Oh. Ah, uh, ow! Wait, why? What? You see a Everything raised hurts. mound of stones. It gives you an eerie feeling. You can tell that this is a place of death. I don't... Ah, ah! Death is bad. Death is bad. Death is bad. I died. The rate the sucked your life force right out of you. Should you return here in another life, you will need to be properly protected to strike quickly. And strike quickly. Well, see, that's good information, right? We learned something. What is this? Oh, you feel a chill. No, 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 no. But uh, this way, this way, run away, run away, run away. So we don't go that way. You have reflect, right? Uh, yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll I'll, I'll figure it out. Ouch. How many of them are there? It's so quiet at night. Okay, so it seems that there's a safe path possibly to the castle at least. Or to the gates. <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, there's like a body on the ground. Castle Road. Fortunately, it also blocks the path of the two slavering necrotors on the other side. They look hungry to see you. Sounds like Quest for Glory 3 sounds. Necrotars? What is that? What, is it, what? How am I supposed to know what you actually look like? <laughs> um... Fine, right? It'll take a lot more than that to oh, yeah. They're cute. I like the eyeball. Your spell dissipates as if blocked by magic. It does not seem to have had any effect. The tower is empty. The gatekeeper is nowhere to be seen. A dark, ominous castle looms upon the tall, craggy mountain. Craggy. I like that word. <laughs> it's cheating. I know, it's like every every game has a super strong defense against <laughs> the one thing I want to do. <laughs> Just cast spells. But alright, we'll try... I don't feel like we're gonna be strong enough, maybe, but we'll try the reflect jam. Uh, this way. Wonder if it'll carry over from screen to screen if I cast it now. I probably can just cast it when I get there and pray that I don't die. You feel it. Clicking that one. Reflection. A reversal. Sure. You cast the reversal spell. You met me, death. I mean, don't, you could not. That would be cool too. But yeah, I don't know if that's gonna work. I don't think it's enough protection. <laughs> 
Wait. Are we invincible? A babbling brook. <laughs> you see a raised mouth. bolt. Oops. I think I broke it. I think it's just not... I think it's pissed off. Force, force, force. I need force. I guess we could try calm too. I mean, we're here, right? The feeling of so much peace and tranquility. <laughs> Levitate. Force bolt. Rest for 60 minutes right here. Your reversal spell is wearing thin. Oh no. This thing is is adamant and probably not something we could kill right now. <laughs> so that kinda worked. <laughs> um alright, 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 night time. Let's go be night time. That did by yourself. After some rest. Keep resting, my friend. You can probably explain the mechanics of that. I don't think it was bugged. I mean, I feel like I thought it was bugged, but then the fact that we... Yeah, the fact that we still died once the reversal spell was gone makes me think... A little bit less like that, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but I also don't feel like we were doing You're the right thing. The at least to to, to win. Oh, either way, we got we got some stuff to do. I think. Uh, like have breakfast. Breakfast. Bre that did. Breakfast. It's early. It's early. He's probably just tired. Your plain but nourishing breakfast. It has more than a bit of garlic added for spice. I wonder, like, how often you have to change these rungs of garlic. It's like, garlic will sprout eventually, right? Maybe it's like a Still dried garlic or something. It is a wonder you have managed to live so long. Isn't it? <laughs> Ask about... So we needed something. We need a key for Dr. Cranium. It must be getting super sticky after all, right? Maybe that's why the tavern folk comment on how stinky everyone is so often. Just all the garlic. Alright, I'm gonna see if we can go a little bit more northeast. South seems dangerous. <gasps> the majestic mountains Do in the background provide about? a beautiful contrast to the grim gravestones and crypts of the cemetery. Oh, what? That seemed. Probably fine. Let's save. <laughs> oh, wait, we're already maxed out. That's right.
Cemetery. Cemetery. ER. Someone important must have been buried here. The crest says Borgov. The occasional lightning flashes are probably just a special effect. A heavy stone. Uh. An inscription on the door says House of Lygia Poe. May she rest forever. Like. This gravestone is marked. Edgar Allan Poe's? No effort could Elissa save. She passed into a watery grave. Her body was lost. Only her memory <laughs> remains. Here lies Janos, faithful forever to his lost true love, laid beside her empty grave. Two spare coffins await their customers here. Apparently Igor has finally managed to get ahead of business. Uh, well, there's a hole a fresh right there. grave has recently been opened here. <gasps> the inscription on this headstone reads, Michael Med bumped his head in another man's bed. Now he's dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. This headstone reads, On a dare, Pasha Sperry spent the night in the cemetery Something gave him such a fright that now he sleeps here every night. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> here lies the spirit of Barney Blue. To his lover was untrue. So she knew just what to do. Fixed herself some Barney stew. Hey, President. I do too. <laughs> I love, like, headstone jokes. <laughs> Feels like a weird thing to say you love, but like the cheesy epitaphs and poems. Here lies the body of Carrie Nation, who answered a vampire's invitation. Now there's cause for lamentation. It was a fatal recreation. Oh. Arkin Tenor walked at night. Arkin saw his final sight. Now the question seems to be. What in the world did Tenna see? <sighs> Spooky! Is it to get ads in the stream now? Uh, ads come up if you're not subscribed. I try to keep them snoozed though if something's happening. I don't really know the ins and outs of everything with the ads, but... They should, they should all be as short as possible. Yeah, literally the shortest that I could make it. <laughs> A heavy stone door seals off the Borgov family crypt. A relief carving on the door shows the crest of the House of Borgov. Can I open it? Uh, let's list, let's examine. You examine the door closely. It's massive and well made. A large lock secures the door. Above the door is an intricate crest with a single word Borgov above it. Borgov, thanks for that resub, Corn. I appreciate it. Uh, listen to door. It is deathly silent beyond the door. Do we open it? Do I see what's up with Borgov? The door is securely locked and feels very solid. Hmm. How securely locked? Crypt door lock yields to the power of your open spell. There's a bag of jewels in there. <laughs> Spooky. A dark, dank crypt filled with bar relief figures of long departed knights and statues of the Grim Reaper. Stairs lead back up to the entrance. A brightly colored copy of the Borgov crest adorns part of the floor. 
Oh, we have our cool candle. Okay, good. It is. It's a TARDIS crypt. Well, I guess no. We went down. You see a coffin cover, bearing a bas-relief sculpture of a knight. Uh. You hear nothing but the hollow echo of your own heartbeat. Knock. You hear a hollow sound. When you knock on the coffin lid. Let's open. <gasps> Wait, there's so much more I wanted to dark explore. It twists and curves oh, so we're that dead. you quickly lose any sense of direction. Are we dead? You feel more than see a dark door at the end of the passage. You open it by touch. Oh. <laughs> Cool. Good job, Bureau. Uh, can I shake the Grim Reaper's hand? That didn't do anything. Oh, there's another one here. As you shake hands with the Grim Reaper statue, the door at the top of the stairs opens. You quickly make your escape from the deadly crypt. Oh, wait, no, 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 I wasn't done. <laughs> but we got points thank you for the follow welcome welcome uh igor the hunchbacked artisan is busily chipping away at a headstone it's a grave business <laughs> ask about ooh crypt key this cemetery this where dead people buried igor buried them mm -hmm. you do a great job igor Meet Igor, you weird stranger. Well, technically only large one crypt. Crypt of Borgov's smaller building tomb. Not certain what distinction myself. <laughs> I, mean, I don't need the key because we have the open spell. <laughs> oh, Igor got key to crypt. Igor keep key to crypt. No, disturb crypt. Not nice. It's true. Nope, not nice. Grave, How about a grave? in ground. Put person in when dead. Uh, a good talk, Igor. Thank you for your help. <laughs> I bet I probably can't go back in here. Maybe? Who's this for? This headstone does not have an epitaph. Yet. How about that old one? Death is just nature's way of telling you to slow down. The door is. Oh, I have to cast open again. <laughs> uh, well, let's save first, just in case this is <clears throat> pointless. Excuse me. Uh, uh, I can't hold down. <laughs> I have to click each time. Don't you just keep doing your thing, Igor. The crypt door lock yields to the power of your open spell. Hmm, I wanted to look at lots of things. Uh, like this beautiful, appropriate Pride Month seal. House of Borkov. Some of the stones on this crest feel loose. You need to push them in the correct order to open a lock. Oh no. <laughs> uh, how the heck are we gonna know what the order is? The crest is unusually colorful. Maybe the colors have some significance to solving the puzzle. Maybe. Oh, I know what it is. Spelling out the name Borgov in colors has caused a secret compartment to open in the crest. Inside is a small key which you add to your keyring. Key for my keyring! Kind of 
of some sort. Oh. No dialogue. Small grating on the floor drainage. You'll find nothing but slimy mold under the grate. Great. Should I like up the puzzle difficulty? Oh no, this is gonna be fighting, isn't it? I don't want up that. <laughs> Alright, so we came out of this one, we went into this one. The Grim Reaper opens the door to go upstairs. What about this one? The coffin cover is decorated with a bar-relief sculpture of a knight. Searching carefully, you see a small hole <laughs> that looks like a keyhole in the sculpture. Well, we did just get a very handy dandy key, didn't we? Can we look at it? It looked pretty cool. Adventurer's Guild key. One key opens a secret passageway in the crypt. Okay. I'll do that. A small key from the crest opens a lock in the relief. You open the coffin lid to reveal a dark passageway leading deep into the mountainside. How cool would that be in real life? I don't know why our character is having such a hard time After walking. the dark passage for several minutes, you come out into a castle chamber. The bookcase closes behind you, and there is no obvious way to open it again. Okay, well, here we are, in the castle. We save. Nothing could go wrong. It's a trap. <laughs> Maybe. This is... Castle secret. Uh. A large round wooden table is starting to crack from age. There's a fine layer of dust on it. Large okay. Oops. bookshelves are full of incredibly exciting works, such as 250 years of boyar ledgers and first grade writing samples. Intriguing. The chandelier provides scant light to the gloomy room. One of the candles has gone out and is dangling from the chandelier at an odd angle. Well, that's intriguing, actually. Do we want that? You reach up to put the candle back. It's a fake candle. When you move it, a secret passage opens up really? behind the bookshelf. <laughs> Put the candle back. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Wait, no, I want to go back though. The small key. Oh my god, that's funny. <laughs> After following the. I do, yeah. <laughs> Some good young Frankenstein in there. Uh, let's listen. All you can hear are distant creaks and groans and the beating of your own heart. Yeah, let's peek. You don't see any sign of life or movement beyond the door. Okay, that sounds safe-ish. What about this door? The castle doors are... Uh-huh. All you can hear... You don't see any sign of life or movement. They both seem possibly safe. Can we go this way? Seems like a no. All right, let's try this door first. Uh, open. Door hinges squeak in protest as you open the door. Spooky. There is a door at the top of the stairs. Well, let's go. Don't King's Quest me. I guess let's go. Oh, I probably should check the other door first. You straighten out your jacket. Door. Listen. You put your ear up against the door and listen. You don't hear anything. Hmm. 
Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity on the other side of the door. No threatening activity. All right, let's try... I kind of want to try to see what is behind the other door before we get too far away from it. I thought this was a person for just half a second. <laughs> uh, what's this? You see a portrait of a tall, arrogant-looking nobleman dressed for battle. It's an ash urn. Nothing like a blazing fire to keep away the chill on those cold winter nights. Don't make an ash of yourself. Again. <laughs> It's hot. Oh, that's it. What about the fireplace? Ashes to ashes and all that, but are you really in such a hurry to go out like a light? No, I just wanted to get warm. The mantle has developed a fine layer of soot from years of watching over the fireplace. Can we move the painting? You don't find any safes, secret ah. passages, or other interesting oddities behind the painting. See what's through this door. Or here. All you can hear are distant creaks and groans. You don't see any sign of life or movement. Sign of life or movement. Door hinges. It's a drinking hall. At least it would be a drinking horn if it had something to drink. This room appears to have once been used for informal dining. The once elegant furniture is dust covered and worn with age. It's a long, low cabinet. Oh. The cabinet is empty, save for a thick coating of dust. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, we live here now. Seats don't look sound. No, 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 no. Straighten out. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to sit. I'm trying to sip. You've seen better cups. Or take a cup. An empty tin bowl sits on the low cabinet. Oh, that's weird. Not what I was clicking. A stone but... wall. Sure. It doesn't burn. Interesting. All you can hear, you catch a brief glimpse of the elusive flash of wings on the other side of the door. Wings? Fried? Pazuzus? Door hinges squeak. Oh, another. Oh, oh. No. Okay, I don't have. What did I just do? What is the S? Oh no, did I turn it on automatic again? Lose your cursor completely. <laughs> yeah, great job and all, but why was my MP not? I feel like when I watched the automatic fight before, do I have like the wrong thing equipped? Hey, <laughs> TJ. 
<laughs> it's good to see. I hope you're doing well. I know it's jamming. I've still yet to figure out how to actually fight in this game, though. I don't want it to be on automatic. So, yeah, switch to S for strategy. Okay, duh. Arcade, please. Uh, didn't we get like a... Oh, no, but there is a staff back in town. I'm just gonna throw this dagger in our... Not actually throw it, <laughs> put it in our chest back at the inn. Um, there is a door. I guess we'll check the store. There were two ways to go up now, I guess. You put your ear up against them. Nothing. Peering through the keyhole, you see no threatening activity on the other side of the door. <laughs> the mm, box. <laughs> almost said trunk, but uh, uh, safe doors, surely. Oh, I thought I was going crazy for a second. The first thing I saw was the bookshelf. <laughs> bookshelf sports a number of volumes of light reading. Bookshelf oh, that's sports different. Bookshelf a number of volumes of light reading. This must have been the boyar's personal reading room, since his crest decorates the top of the shelf. A boyar is a member of the old aristocracy... Or, or, aristocracy. I can't ever say this word. Aristocracy. I'm not saying it right. I'm not saying it right. Hold on. In Russia, next in rank to a prince. Google, help me words. Aristocracy. Aristocracy. I knew there was an emphasis there somewhere weird. Aristocracy. Uh, yes. So that, that's a boyer. I did not know that. Aristocrates, yeah. <laughs> Slevioso. Would be if we could ever use our spells. Hey, social. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday already. What the heck? The bookshelf shifts ever so slightly as you push against it, but you haven't found the trigger yet. Another secret bookshelf. Okay. Nothing like a blazing fire to ashes to ashes and all. I'm not going to the fire, I'm going to the urn. Thank you for the follow, welcome, welcome. Guess we could try to move a chair. It doesn't budge. Never argue with a two-year-old on what full is, especially if it gets in their way of the cupcake. Ashes to ashes. <laughs> ashes to that sounds like a, a good advice. Sounds like sound advice. Makes this seem a cozy reading room. Something seems just a little strange about the large bookshelf. It does, doesn't it? But what about the crest up here? You straighten out the crest. The bookshelf opens, revealing a secret passage. Got it. You thought the title said quest for gravy. <laughs> I mean, it could be a quest for gravy. I don't know what we're after. That sounds more delicious. It's okay. It happens. It's definitely a lot of cheese. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be so lost in this castle. I probably should have made a map for this too. The sprawling castle watches over a lush and prosperous landscape. Obviously a fantasy piece. Obviously. After several minutes spent analyzing this piece of furniture, you reach the brilliant conclusion that it must be a bed. Listen, game. <laughs> a worn threadbare rug adds a touch of color to the plain wooden floor. Curtains lend a touch of softness but to the cold stone walls. 
Oh, but what? Okay, there's a door. Should we look under the bed? This probably isn't at the top of your list of. No, there's not nothing to sleep. hidden under the rug. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's listen All to the you door. Can hear a distant creaks and groans, and the beating this of your own so heart. Creepy. <laughs> you don't see any sign of life or movement beyond the door. Well, you're looking through the stone, but sure. squeak in protest as you open the door. This place is huge. Uh, I feel like I should go back, but I feel like we're also we're here. We're going. We're this far. I have drawn a map for every quest for glory game, though, actually. A very shoddy, you know, pencil scribble map, but I'll be stuck in here for days. No, 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 it'll be fine. Look, we're somewhere else. Everything's fine. You see a tall storage cupboard. The castle doors are sturdily constructed of oak with brass bindings. Let's check this out. Cabinet is empty, save for a thick coating of dust. Even the lower cabinet? The cabinet is empty. What about the bowl? The cabinet is the cabinet the cabinet Wait, is empty. I can open different doors. The cabinet Alright, Skyrim. The cab Now this looks like it would lead just back to the bedroom, but maybe not. All you can hear You don't see any sign of here. Mind. Yeah, it's us and dust. And some bats. Oh my god, am I actually gonna be super lost? You find nothing of that. The cabinet Cabinet. The cabin. The cabin. I'm just going for it. Oh my god. Yeah, I should have made a map. Oh no. <gasps> Down. Interesting. It really will. <laughs> Peering through the Let's go. <gasps> A giant safe of which I have no key for. Oh, man, I'm never gonna be able to find my place way back there. Coping that you find loose in the cabinet. Sure. Does he have an iPhone? <laughs> the cabinet is empty. I don't think so. The chest is locked. What Check. if we use magic? The chest is secure. Tell that to my open spell. Ouch. Got the chest open, but set up an explosion in the process. The chest was trapped. It was trapped. You take 15 crowns from a pouch in the safe. The safe also contains several papers and some old clothes. But they have deteriorated with age and are worthless. So you leave them. Well, we got some cash. I should save. You shiver as the ghost <gasps> passes through you. A cold chill remains behind. A g -g 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 ghost? Wait. It's as white as a sheet. Perhaps it's the ghost of some poor benighted soul 
who fell to his death while trying to take in the laundry. Be well, ghost. It sure doesn't. This is very gold, ghost. Okay, well, we didn't die. That's something. Oh no. Oh! This looks more official and less labyrinthian, maybe. The family crest of the Borgogs holds a commanding position over the room. This is the castle Great Hall. Besides the main entry to the south, doors exit the room on either side and at the top of the staircase. Heck yeah. Well, Let's, uh... That hmm. didn't... It's... Oh. It's just an empty closet. Convenient. I feel like once we leave, we're not going to be able to return. At least from, from where we leave. We'll probably have to take the secret passage again. And draw a map, or... I'll, go, I'll, my, I'll probably go back. I'll open this door first. The door hinges. <gasps> Wait, are you kidding me? If I had just gone up. <laughs> okay, I think we made the full loop because there's the candle. <laughs> Alright, so easy to make that addition to our map. Here's the, the front door. Uh, do we go back? I mean, there was no like real danger. We got some cash. There's got to be a point to being here. That's not super great. Door hinges sweet. There are. I think I think we'll go back and sleep. That way we're not stuck here like overnight. You could See if I can actually leave this way. The door. What? What? I feel like that said something different. All right, that didn't... we're going this way. A huge fireplace. There's just a fire in a small room. There are a number of large barrels piled in a disorderly heap. The barrels are all empty. There's nothing. You don't see any sign of light. I thought that was going to be the front door. <laughs> Since we were in the great hall or whatever. Okay, another room. The window looks over the castle courtyard. It's a massive iron bound chest. After several.
magic. Run. <laughs> alright, alright. Where's my manual? Oh, I did. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I died. But I cast some spells. <laughs> Uh, you just had a close encounter with a spirit of the ghost kind when all is said, however, your life's done. <sighs> well, but I did, I did, I did successfully cast a couple of spells. So, let's restore jinkies. Actually, we could restore the autosave, huh? I'm gonna start leaning on these autosaves, it's gonna be bad. So it doesn't count, yeah, it doesn't count. Mm -mm, didn't happen. Uh, I don't want to fight this thing. Maybe eventually. <laughs> ah, oh, I clicked the manual again. Is that all that's here, though? Oh, did we actually reach a... Dead end? A dead end? You wouldn't fit. Well, okay. So maybe we'll come back and fight him soon. I do think we'll probably go back to the inn first, though. Door hinges squeak in protest as you open the door. Even know for sure that we're gonna be able to make it all the way back. As you shake hands. Mm, that's looking pretty you have dicey. Entered an eerie deserted graveyard. Strange moans wail through the trees, and mysterious lights seem to flicker and fade among the tombstones. Two large crypts dominate the cemetery. I've never been here before, yes, thank you. Light yeah, just... years ghost comes forth, and she looks mad. This could turn into a really bad day. Okay, not that one. That one's... What is that? Oh, that's the dagger, isn't it? Why am I just gonna poison? What? Oh. I see. No, don't be automatic. Oh! Okay, cool. Okay. So I don't think we're gonna make it back before nightfall. So maybe we'll just keep exploring our map. afford to take this sitting down. After some rest, you feel better. This statue depicts a man holding a long staff. Either the boyars had mages among them, or he liked to walk in mountains. The statue of a young warrior helps to guard the stairs. This statue Picks a warrior. His visage is proud and noble. This one looks like George Washington. That looks like a bust of Boyer von oh. Beethoven, a famous warrior composer. Warrior composer. The statue depicts a stately looking older gentleman. 
His expression and features give you the impression of great nobility. Alright, so this takes us to this room, which has a thing. Did we go this way? Squeak in protest as you open. There's a low cabinet and a painting on the wall. It's the same painting everywhere. They must Captain. really like that one. Captain. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so we have a table and some options here. The castle doors are sturdy. I think when we went left was how we ended up looping back around. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Oil all the doors, maybe get like an open floor plan going on and set all these individual rooms. You don't see any sign of light. Tables and lots of fire. It's like all kinds of hazards. Door hinges. Now hold on, okay. So if we go up, then we're going back down. Drawing it north on my map. It's hard to draw on a map. <laughs> or in like a grid. You don't Okay, so if we go right. Spooky hallway. Take a seat. Yes, <gasps> we can sleep here. This would not be a good place to sleep. We can't sleep here. Fine. I mean, I agree with the narrator, to be honest. It's hot. Can we rest at least? After some rest? You yeah. Yeah. Take a little After break. Some, you're getting tired. You're getting tired. Um, I don't know if I want to go back to the staircase or check out this hallway. Can we go this way? all options? No. Door hinges squeak in protest as you open the door. A library? Stained glass forms a wheel pattern high on the wall. Bookshelves are full of incredible. There's something strange about the volumes of Tobin's Spirit Encyclopedia, subtitled To Pass Beyond the Veil, on these shelves. Can I take it? Oh. This gives me such Island of Dr. Brain vibes, like, to the stone background. Uh, I, uh, Texas, M meet, exit. Oh, 
Texas meat. <laughs> well, yes, but what? How would I know what order to move them in? Let's look. Stay. The wheel doesn't look like it opens or even. Some of these books seem to be attached to the bookshelf. Some of the. Oh, wait, I wanted to, that's what I wanted to hear again. There's something strange about the volumes of Tobin's Spirit Encyclopedia, subtitled To Pass Beyond the Veil, on these shelves. Maybe it's just as simple as, like, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. No, it is in alphabetical order. You aren't carrying anything that will help you with this puzzle. Ghostbusters reference? I missed it. There's something strange about the volumes of Tobin's Spirit To Pass Beyond the Veil? Subtitled, To Pass Beyond the Veil, on these shelves. Aimed? Duh. Come back for you. You don't see any movement through the keyhole, but you think you hear movement from the bottom of the stairs. Uh, save. Big save. A-E-I-M-T-X. <laughs> Monsters! Oh. oh. Yeah, nobody ever comes here. People wants to get out of the dungeon, not into it. Yeah, of course, of course, sure. You hear voices at the bottom of the stairs. I mean, we, we could try to say hello. I did just save, right? Right. There are those two guards about the size of thousand-year-old redwood trees guarding the stairs, and you want to talk to them? Why don't you just walk down the stairs and meet them close up while you're at it? I just wanted to make friends. I don't judge. I don't know. I think... Dungeons is always gone, and we's the gods. But why got a dungeon when there's no one in there? We got to guard something, don't we? Else we don't got the job. But, well, it's still boring. Is it as boring as being calm? 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 Calm. Calm. Oh my god, which one is calm? This one. No, this one. No. This one, the hand. A feeling of peace and tranquility fills the area. Peace and tranquility, friends. Now, die. This is not a good place to practice your magic. Aww. You know, there are those two huge goon guards down at the bottom. Are you sure this is such a good time to head down the stairs? Oh, the fact that he keeps asking me makes me want to try it even more. <laughs> yeah, probably, this yeah. This really isn't such a hot idea. It will be certain death to get too close to those guards. Why are you warning me so much when I am certain death from so many things? 
that no one warned me about. I just not want to like animate it so they tell you to stay away from it. <laughs> uh, okay. It just felt different. No, it's Sierra would be I walk down there and I die, and then he says, Well, that wasn't such a good idea, now was it? This room, somewhere <laughs> in the northeastern section of the castle, is dominated by a huge set of bookshelves. Well, one of the boyars must have loved reading. Ogres. 